coming video. Welcome guys, welcome back. Now let us see what is decision tree. So decision tree is a decision support tool that uses a tree like model of decision. Okay. So and there are possible consequences including chance, event, outcome, resource, cost, utility. So let's say this is like a decision making for a computer coded programming. If A is greater than B, yes, then it will go for green color. No, it will go for orange color. If it's no, then what are the reasons? If it is yes, it will turn to green. See. The decisions could be made based on the possibilities and consequences of the event and outcome and cost and budget and timeline and utility and resources etc. See, A decision tree is a decision support tool that uses a tree like model of decision. Let's say you have a refined idea, okay, a very refined idea after your brainstorming. But you need to actually decide something now, whether it's going to work or not. Now you can draw decision tree wonderfully guys, see, see like this flow chart that uses a tree like model of decision and their possible consequences including chance event outcome resource etc it's a very very uh, uh, easy way to display an algorithm that only contains conditional control statements see decision node root node if it workings we will take the leaf node see why it is considered decision node and leaf means it looks like a tree see because from the branch it is separating out into smaller branch from smaller branch it is separating out into leaf from leaf it is separating out into vein that is how it can be made. It's actually commonly used in operation research guys, particularly to find out any cost and effect problem, to find out any operation like can I do this first operation to save cost, can I do the second operation to save material, can I use this third operation to save some uh, uh, manpower. So if that's the way to actually do it guys. It to help and identify a strategy most likely to reach a goal but are also a popular tool in machine learning. Particularly this is used in machine learning as decision tree, very complex decision making process. So the common examples of job offer acceptance, let's say, should I accept a new job offer? You can use decision tree model to choose guys, okay? So first of all, you've got a sal you've got a job, okay? Let's say salary of at least $50,000. If you get $50,000 salary, yes, I will go and commute for one hour every day and I will decline the offer. If no, then offers are free uh, coffee. Maybe you will get free coffee, you will get uh, uh, offers free coffee or something and then you accept the offer. And if it is no, you decline the offer. If they are giving salary 50,000, yes guys, you can decide. If they are not, the first thing itself is no. If further it is yes, then you will have a chance to commute for more than one hour. Are you really going to commute one hour? Yes, then please decline the offer. No, then offer free coffee. If it is yes then accept the offer if it is no then decline the offer see this is how we can able to simply decide also if the person age is less than 30 he can eat pizza if it is no please do exercise make yourself fit and unfit if you eat pizza you can decide if it's fit you can eat it if it's unfit don't need to do it so we can able to find out is a person fit or unfit by seeing this matrix see if he eats the pizza, we can simply see this person is unfit. If he is not eating, definitely he is fit. See, with the, with the, with, see, you can make it very complex, guys. Right now, I just told you one example of one step like this. You can able to multiple branch it to find it out what is the exact real solution. Okay. So now we have seen enough of problem solving techniques, guys. Now we will go and see what is the originality. Because when it comes to idea generation, this word people normally forget, guys. Becoming unique is a big trite and a character. How are we really original? How are we making an originality statement happen? We will see in the coming video guys.